AI is the future of business is the message that we were talking about. And uh, we really believe that. It sounds like hyperbole, but we believe that we're poised at the start of a new era in terms of how uh, AI can be applied to reimagine the way business works. And it's different than prior technologies because it's about intelligence built into the business in a different way and enabling both consumers and employees to work to work or live in, a, in very different ways in the way that they interact with businesses. And this is going to cause us to make uh, you know, some big, big changes to companies. We're going to need to reimagine business processes and how they work as business processes become intelligent and interact with people in different ways. We're going to need to transform the relationship between humans and machines, interfaces, keyboards, the ways we interact today will transform massively through natural language processing, speech recognition, uh, computer vision, and similar capabilities. And this idea of, of unlocking the dark data and lighting up the potential of the vast uh, resources of data available to companies through machine learning and other technologies is, is a very, very real. So we see tremendous opportunity and really believe we're at the start of a new era. We're transitioning from the way business was done in the 20th century to a new way of doing Doing business going forward. And we were lucky enough to get an exclusive announcement from you this morning. Yeah, tell, we, us, tell us more. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, we announced some new research. You know, we asked a fundamental question of how will AI impact business? How will artificial intelligence impact business? And surprisingly, there hasn't been a lot of research, quantitative research around this. So we worked with uh, Frontier Research and uh, uh, Economics Firm, uh, along with our own researchers at our Institute for High Performance. We conducted a study that came out with you know, surprising results to many people. One of the findings was that artificial intelligence will, uh, or has the potential to double GDP growth rates in the countries we studied over the next couple of decades. For the U.S. alone, that could mean a difference in economic output on the order of $8 trillion uh, by the year 2035. Uh, similar results in countries like Germany where additional potential of a trillion dollars of economic output by, by you know, faster growth enabled in the economy. And that's a result of AI being applied in the ways I just talked about, but also from a, uh, the fact that we believe AI can unleash a real uh, surge in human productivity uh, of up to 40% increase in productivity for many workers. And it's that unlocking of human potential that leads to our belief in this people-first approach. We're focused on how, to, uh, how we can make humans super and better in the way they do work, rather than focusing on this, uh, this, this notion of making superhumans through AI. Yeah, I mean, fundamentally, we believe there's some big changes coming for business. Uh, AI will become the, the core of the business, and that has big implications. One thing I would say is that uh, we, AI will become a first-class citizen in the enterprise. So we'll think about artificial intelligence and the capabilities, much like we think about the org chart. Where do you find people? Where do you find expertise? The data model, where do you find data? We'll think about AI as a first-class citizen in terms of the, the structure of the enterprise. That'll lead to a change in enterprise architecture and the way we think about building our business and IT architectures where knowledge, learning, and uh, techniques like that will be part of the architecture rather than an add-on or bolt-on. And that's going to lead to a transformation of the software industry itself. If you know, software companies that don't uh, adjust themselves and adapt to selling intelligence and, and intelligence-enabled solutions, I think will fall by the wayside and become irrelevant as time goes on. And then finally, you know, the other bold prediction is this is going to really truly unleash uh, productivity and uh, allow people to operate more effectively, but also unleash a wave of creativity that will benefit uh, you know, the ways we work and live in a lot of ways. Well, it's, it's a great mix because we have business people here, we have industry here, uh, we have uh, academia here, we have uh, startups and you know, innovators here, and that, that mix is what's really important because we're we're at the early stage of this and nobody's got the perfect playbook for how it all comes together and I think sharing the ideas and the experiences, what works and how to approach this uh, in the right way is really critical, which is why this is important for them. Thank you.